you and your twin brother, y'all played music together. Yeah, Do yeah, he's in the band. Or? Yeah, he's yeah. Uh, he's still in the band with Good. me. Yeah, he's uh, plays drums. Uh, we actually just went and did an acoustic show uh, uh, down in uh, Texas. He goes with me on those. Um, so uh, yeah, love having Rocky on the road with me. Those acoustic shows are fun, too, aren't they? I dig them, man. Yeah. I kind of dig them. Uh, it, it gives you a chance to put more personality in the show. It gives you a chance to talk to the crowd a little bit, you know. And uh, and it really matters, uh, are you funny that day? Have you ever, now, have you ever <laughs> been up there? Because you got your certain jokes, and you get up there and just joke after jokes, just crickets. I mean, just <laughs> nothing. I'm like, okay. More music, boy. More music, right? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Don't I mean, ever stop this again. <laughs> yeah, <I> know. <laughs> That's it. You know, and, and that does come from from doing it a bunch. But there's a lot of nights, and, and you know, I, I tend to just have a, a bunch of stories and, you know, stuff like that. And you can tell, generally, I know when I get there whether that's going to happen or not. You and, can read the crowd and, yeah. before you even hit the stage. You can see if it's a lively <laughs> bunch, if it's a drinking bunch or not. Right. And I and I also have I've got stop gaps on my stories. So I've got punchlines at like just a few a few lines in. Oh nice. And then or it keeps so you going. Can out. So yeah, yeah. Okay. So if they're laughing, if they're problem. digging it, it's I'm, like, okay, we're gonna keep going with this and then if it's still good, all right, you get the long version of, That's of this. Awesome, it's man, all now. BS, you know, but you gotta have smoking mirrors. You gotta right? have short, middle and long term <laughs> bailout points because I like that. at I've the same time that. in casinos and stuff, when you know, you might go from a loud crowd to here's a bunch that's just got their arms crossed staring at you i just did one of those yeah and but that's where i love the long version it's like okay i'm gonna sit here oh, i get i get to really talk we're gonna talk yeah. today this is gonna be fun and i used to dread it you know playing music because you get done with a song and then it's it's like and you're like okay, okay two right. three four <laughs> you know that drummer out yeah, tonight, so it's but happen. now i kind of look forward to it because everybody's not screaming and throwing beer at you and all yeah. the other stuff well, so, and then there's that yeah, yeah you just kind of get get your brain set for whatever now, you're up against. my first acoustic show all right now i just came off of american idol millions of people i can't stand in kansas city on the side of the road without somebody recognizing who you are just in the <laughs> middle of nowhere you know so uh and we go from that and then we go from the tour which is i mean it was fifteen thousand every night you know it was just people everywhere all the time i come off i go to lyric street records and i do my first radio show all right, I go to my first radio show. I'm not going to say where it was, uh, <laughs> but uh, there was this big round oval table, right? And I uh -huh. walk into a meeting room, and I got two guys with me who I've never played with before, ever, uh -huh. you know? So I get in there, and uh, we get there, and everybody comes in, and I'm thinking, you know, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, you know, no. Everybody sits down at their spot at the table, and there's a pen and paper in front of each one of them. I'm like, holy cow. <laughs> Simon Cowell ain't got nothing on this. I mean, I got out there. They had a meeting after I was done. I had no idea. I thought they were going to be judging me, like, uh -huh. taking notes. I've never done a radio show before. So, by far, the most nerve-wracking radio show. Oh, wow. wow. That was, scared me to death, man.